Hey guys, what's going on? Man, you won't believe it, but I lost my voice. I did a bunch of podcasts over the weekend. And you can probably still hear it. And my voice was just completely fucking gone. I woke up and it was just fucking done. So I've been grinding, man. I told you February. It's a crazy month. Podcasting my ass off. Episode after episode, a lot of connecting with people. A lot of great people, I gotta say, I'm fucking meeting, man. Interesting folks. Can't wait for you guys to, to hear them as well. You know, this is that uh, midweek recap, you know what I'm saying? So, gotta make sure you guys hear me and uh, just go after what you want in life. Cause, uh, gotta just make shit happen, right? But, for the most part, is you know when is when is it enough to stop helping somebody? That's why I said stop helping somebody because sometimes folks don't help themselves enough, and when that happens, that's when shit goes down straight, right? So you got to be straight, honest with folks because you're not. Then they keep on. Calling you, texting you, the whole woe is me, the whole super duper dreamer, but they have no sense of fucking execution. And you want to be a good person, you want to help some folks out. But the way you help them out, hold them accountable. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be a little fucking harsh on the real, cause you gotta let motherfuckers know on the real, like, yo, what are you doing? You know, like, what are you not doing? This is what you're not doing. So tell me what you're doing. And you have to figure that part out. You know, not you, but they do. Man, and you don't have time for that. You got your own grind, your own hustle. You know what I'm saying? To, to just go after. And for you to give up your time, that's precious right there, man. Every day. Every fucking day counts for something. Especially when you're building, and you're building, yo, like, as I've seen it now, as I'm building, man, it's crazy because I'm seeing the results. One, I just surpassed a thousand subscribers on IG, so I want to say thank you for that. You know what I'm saying? So it's super duper kudos to everybody. Thank you so much. It's been a long time coming. It's been hard like a motherfucker because I'm doing it old school. I'm just doing it organically, you know what I'm saying? If you hear me, I'm in the streets right now. And uh, I'm trying no matter fuck around. So, and streets in Atlanta right now. Just walking, had to take a nice walk. So I figured why not go and record this shit. It may sound a little crazy to you, but you know, I don't give a fuck. But back to the 1,000 subs, yo. Thank you so much. I want to continue to grow. I feel the best way I know how to grow, which is just being honest and true. Finding you guys out there, having fun. You know what I'm saying? And getting true followers to understand what I'm talking about. I got a lot of things planned. You know what I'm saying? And I know first step, first things first is not to get too ahead of myself and really build on my episodes. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, really look at probably building a brand. You know what I'm saying? So right now, it's kind of just a fucking hobby. Right? So I'm turning that hobby into a fucking realistic, true podcast that people want to get on and uh it's fantastic because i'm actually getting dms now before i was dming a lot of folks now people in my dms like yo how can i how can i get on and that's fantastic but there's challenges with that too right because the platform is for all of you no doubt about it my platform is for everybody and i'm just the fucking gatekeeper you know what i'm saying so with that being said you got to have some shit you're really doing, though. You just can't get on the podcast get on the podcast I'm nothing to talk about. Because it just doesn't fucking work that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, the whole thing about the podcast is for other folks to learn, to hear stories. Hear stories that people are just like them. Working hard, working probably two, three jobs just to try to still make ends meet. But still have this dream they're going after. You know what I'm saying? So... If you're going to hit me up, make sure you come up with something. 
so we can give people, show people your value. That's the biggest thing. I want people to get to know you and what your value is. You know what I'm saying? That's huge. Because once you show your value to folks, then you can expand, you can grow. It's all about fucking networking. The right people. So, you know, all I can say is go after it. Make it happen. And you guys are tracking with me. You guys know what I'm going through right now. You guys see the hustle I have. You guys see the grind. I'm posting daily. You know, my episodes are coming out twice a week. I got episodes in the bank. I got people lined up. That's how you do it. It's a sacrifice, man. There's no sleep. That's editing. That's making graphics to promote the podcast. You know what I'm saying? That's dealing with people and schedules and rescheduling and rescheduling. You know, but that's what it's about. If you really truly want to do this, you got to figure out how things work. And that's what I'm fucking doing. Figuring shit out. So, as we continue to grow in this journey together, you're going to see my growth. And I'm a man of action. I don't fuck around. So, you're going to see my growth fairly quickly. I'm going to keep on grinding. And no doubt, don't get me wrong, I'm not ignorant to the fact that there's going to be some challenges, some hurdles, some blockages. But that's up to me to fucking get over that shit, get through that shit, and still make shit happen. Because I'm just like y'all motherfuckers. I still have fucking a home and family to take care of and provide for. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, like there's certain, still certain issues that come with that as well. Not No family is perfect. Giant Nomad is far from that shit. So, you come through, you listen to the podcast, you're getting the true, real deal. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ask tough questions to my guests. I'm going to put them... In the spots to say, yo, you said this, but what about this? Like, I'm getting, I'm getting better at my interviewing. You know what I'm saying? I'm researching, listening to other podcasters. You know what I'm saying? And you got to learn, you got to study. You got to study the craft that you're trying to get into. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I posted something the other day. You could read all the fuck you want, you can watch all the videos you want, which is fine, I do the same shit too. But there's a time we gotta fucking execute. Like, stop the fucking reading, put the book down, put the phone down, stop watching videos. Now, let's put that, sh- that knowledge to work. Let's, let's get that shit rolling. That's what the fuck you gotta do. You gotta get that knowledge moving to start seeing results. Because you having a great fucking idea ain't shit. You having all these big dreams in your head and you rolling your head ain't shit. Because. Fear is going to come into factor. Fear is always going to be there. And fear is going to be a motivator in two different ways. It's going to either motivate you to move ahead or that motherfucker is going to stop you in your tracks. Because fear don't fuck around. Fear is going to be like, yo, we don't need no bum ass bitches out there doing stupid shit. Right? So it feels like, nah, you ain't ready. You ain't ready for this real shit. So I'm putting fear in this fucking heart. You keep on fucking dreaming. So you won't get them to do shit. You fucking with the people shit. The fear on the other hand. They see the real motherfuckers. Like yo. I'm fucking with her. I'm fucking with her. She's doing her thing. So let's let's make this fear a positive thing. And have her grind out. That's what fear is all about. And if it stopped you. You weren't ready. And that's okay. But you gotta get yourself ready. You know what I'm saying. You gotta make your fucking move. But let's understand. Everyone's not meant to be an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying. And that's okay too people. Let's not get it twisted. You can still have a great fucking life. Having a fucking career. You know what I'm saying? And doing what the hell you need to do for your, your life. Your lifestyle. So, I know entrepreneurship is, is hot. It sounds nice. But, yo. If you're not down with that shit, that's cool. Go after your career. You better be the fucking best at it. You better be the subject matter expert in that motherfucker. You better know all your fucking stakeholders understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? So... People, you have to go after that shit. You got to go after it hard. You got to make that shit yours. No matter what capacity that it comes in. Man, I just get irritated, man. Like, I'm hyped. You can understand. Like, I got mad love for y'all. I love my followers. You know what I'm saying? 
You know what I'm saying? Like, like Johnny Nomad loves, 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 loves y'all so much. I want a lot for y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm doing this podcast so different. I got mad ideas. But guess what? I got to start with step number one. Step number one is just, yo, let's get the ball rolling. Let's get some consistency. Let's see some fucking results. Then, I right, bet. Let's invest some more money. Yo, wait till this shit really blows up next year. 2020? I already know exactly where I'm going to be at. I already got shit planned for 2020. Like, this is just the second month of the year. I'm already seeing double the results already. So, imagine when March hits. And March is a nice, long fucking month. I'm going to be pressing. I ain't playing around, guys. Every day, every fucking day, I'm doing something. And I have to. And no doubt, I got time for wifey. Time for the kids. Shit, I just made fucking dinner. For everybody. And I'm out walking to the store to get wifey a snack. That's right. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because family is everything. I put my time in. Not only for my fucking, my dream and my passion and my purpose. But I put my time in for my family too. And if I can fucking do it, then you can fucking do it too. Go after your shit and fucking do it. You're the only motherfucker that's stopping me. That is it. So thank you. My 1,000 followers. If you can help me out, just push me on and share me with other people. That's what I ask. If you love me so much, you love me so much, yo. Share me with other people. Let's try to hit 2,000. If I can hit 2,000 in the month of February, that would be insane. That, that would be like, wow, good looking. Like, I don't know what I would do. I just got to think of something for 2,000. Like, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, but thank you so much. I'm forever grateful. I'm humble as fuck. I'm really thankful for you guys listening to me because it's really giving me the energy to continue going more and knowing that, yo, I got something. I got a good product on my hands. And I got to fucking keep it moving. So, love y'all to death. Truly, 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 truly. Y'all that motherfuckers to death. Johnny out.